What's up, y'all? It's your girl Mocha Michelle, and we are back with another one. Yeah, we got to stop and shop. Um, we've been out all morning. I dropped the girls off at school, and I had to go do something for my mom, and. I sat down and talked to my mom for a little while and now I'm about to go and stop and shop and get my son a cake and I'm also about to get something to cook for dinner and then we're going to go on Dollar Tree and I'm going to, um, you know, get some gift bags and some stuff for him in a card and bring it to him because he don't know what he want to do for his birthday and I had plans on moving closer because I was going to do his birthday at my house and it's just not like that right now. So I'm a little frustrated and upset today and I kind of just want to go home. But at the same time, well, I, I need to go home because Taylor needs to take a nap. I need to change her and it's going to be time to get the girls. And I still got to deal with them after school and that whole routine stuff, you know, and because I live so far away, it's kind of hard for me to, to do all of that. So I still want to show up for my son and do something nice for him. And that's what I'm about to do. So y'all gonna come and stop and shop with us and then we're gonna go in Dollar Tree. We're gonna drop this stuff off and then we're gonna go back home. Had to make sure I had my keys in my pocket because the way I'm feeling, I definitely could have locked them in the car today. Let me get in this door and I'll pick back up because Taylor's heavy. All right, guys. It's a good thing there's no music plan or maybe there is let's see what they bakery is hitting for because they ain't never got nobody to write on their cakes i um, let's see i think i can find the same cake that he had last year that's what he wants all right sorry i don't want to block you in it was this cake he had last year. Oh, he's gonna be so happy. Um, is there anyone like look at this little cannoli cake? This looks good too. It's great. I think for dinner, I'm gonna do spaghetti and meatballs. And I'm going to grab some onion rings for Taylor so she can have chicken nuggets and onion rings.
Yeah, that had to be the most difficult, aggravating thing to do, okay? My son better not ever say I don't love him, even though he don't say that. My daughters do, you know? They do. They don't realize that, you know, you do one thing and you don't love them. They don't realize all the shit you do for them, but... Oh, I just ain't have time to, like, get this stuff together. Carrying all these balloons with Taylor was just a lot. Um... I'm about to go to the bank and withdraw some money so I could put it in his card. And it is 1231. I literally have time to probably go home, put my meatballs on, um, change Taylor diaper, use the bathroom, nurse her, and I'm back out the door to get the kids. Like, tomorrow I'm not doing anything. I don't want to do nothing. I just want to drop the kids off to school um i do need to figure out what we eating for dinner tomorrow because like i said i need to go grocery shopping uh, i wasn't planning on being here at my place where i am and doing all this running back and forth i wasn't planning on living like this so i have to um figure it out instead of just winging it every day i really got to sit down and figure out what i'm doing and on top of that i think my dryer is breaking y'all i um I think I ran the dryer like twice. I think, I don't know, cause I'm so stressed. I probably didn't even run it twice. I'm probably just overthinking. But I think I ran the dryer like twice and it's still, some of the clothes were still like damp. Not wet, but damp. So I feel like my dryer might be starting to act stupid again, which is stressful because I still have to live there. You understand? So I don't want to buy a dryer and then end up moving somewhere where there's no washer and dryer hookup anyway. But I also don't want to be stuck having to go to the laundry mat either so much, you know? And then I'm also like, my straw is defective. I always get a defective straw with um, Chick-fil-A. They need to do better. Um, I also don't want to, you know, like everything just seems like it's just really going bad if i ever thought that it was going bad for me before this is definitely letting me know like girl sit down somewhere okay sit your ass down somewhere because now i have no choice but to sit my ass down somewhere um i don't know what this truck is doing what what is going on here are you turning don't sandwich me and what is that truck doing? Oh, it's getting ready to make it a wide turn. Okay. I didn't understand because I was looking to see if they had a signal light on. Didn't have no signal light on the turn, but he turned the signal light on at some point. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I am just like, I don't know. Like, I just don't know. I need to figure it out and I need to figure it out fast. I need to figure out what I'm doing and I need to figure it out fast and I can't do that ripping and running around like for everybody but today is my son's birthday so I have to you know but tomorrow I got nothing going on I need to focus on me and what I have to deal with I can look for apartments while I'm out but I have to look for for rent signs right I could go home and relax and look for apartments also on Zillow apartments pop up every day and I feel like I need to be on Zillow every day not out living like I don't have this drastic situation going on right now because I really do so I do need to be taking care of that and you know I can't take care of nobody if I can't take care of myself you know so that definitely comes first right now because I am mentally just not there right now I am not but like I told y'all yesterday life goes on doctor's appointments go on kids need to be taken care of picked up bathed fed in the mix of all of this stuff I can't just shut down if it was just me I could shut down and be stressed and not eat and whatever but you know if it was just me it would be easier for me to find somewhere to go for the time being being in this messed up situation but because I got all my kids, 
that's what makes it harder and then not i don't have no way to go because where the hell i'm going with all of them a lot of people don't have room for my kids and that's understandable but where does it leave me so i'm just really like really stressed out i am and i still want to leave where i am i don't just because this is happening it's not like it's very uncomfortable everything is uncomfortable and it, it is all a mental thing it is because before i took them beds apart and all that stuff it was a hike it wasn't uncomfortable the way it is right now so i know this is all a mental thing um but i just my heart ain't there and it never was and i don't want to be there and i'm not gonna stay there and then that's just that like the only mistake I ever made was getting up and leaving my old place. That's the only mistake I could say I made. I, the, this, wanting to leave here, I'm not going to regret this. Wanting to get out of here, this, hell no, I'm not going to miss anything about that apartment. Nothing. I don't like it there. Like, I just don't. And I don't care who doesn't understand why I don't like it there. I don't like it there. I have to be comfortable. I'm not comfortable. And I know it's all probably just because of maybe the things I went through when I was living there, how I felt when I was living, like this, going in to live there. I don't know what makes me feel so strongly about not wanting to be there and not letting myself get comfortable. And I don't know. I don't. I really don't. But I'll pick back up when I'm putting um, this stuff together in my car. All right, y'all, I just finished putting everything together for him. I'm about to go pull up and drop this off and hit the highway and head to my depressing, miserable home, okay? About to head back home to be miserable. Um, Yeah. Oh, I'm also going to throw some trash away in his dumpster, too. He already knows, so. Mm -hmm. This boy talking about he's still in the bed. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to just let him be until he get up and figure it out. I just told him to come downstairs. I got to pee so badly. But it ain't never no parking over here. So This is a cake. I feel like he could have wrote better on it. But. And why the fuck would you write it in red? But he ain't asked me what color I want. It seemed like he cared. Man. So we wait. Yeah, I want to curl this wig. I want to curl it. I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow morning. And then I got to go downstairs and tape my um, washing machine. Because I had it unhooked. And then, um, you know, I had it hooked back up half, ass half acidly. So. I'm so stupid. Do you realize it's the same cake from last year? Didn't you ask for that? Yeah. Yeah, I found it. All right, I don't know how I'm about to get this, these balloons and stuff. But since you want to sleep all day. I don't want to sleep all day. My sleep schedule is so bad. I was going to ask you. I didn't know you were coming. I need some melatonin. That should have been my birthday gift. Or some I'll give you some melatonin. You know I'm the melatonin queen. Hold on, we got this. Lisa said happy birthday. Yeah, but just don't trust. I wrapped it around the best way I could. Let me give you a hug. I, I'm just, I gotta go home. I've been out all morning and I'm like, let me just try to put my baby. Try not to get emotional. Yeah, I know I'm like a big ass crybaby, so.
y'all about to have this moment with me and then I'm gonna cry and then I'm gonna just stop okay this year is so different it's so different like to have to drop my son's stuff off to him is different for me um let me get a wipe because this is just, this is beyond me I didn't even know I was gonna cry but to have to drop his stuff off to him is different to me like you know my son moved out and we always do birthdays and stuff at my house um so you know like i'm not gonna have cake with him but i told him you know everybody deserves a cake on their birthday so you know i wish it's times i wish people would bring me a goddamn cake i bake my cake every year the last past three years i bake my own cake this year i'm not doing that i'm not baking my own cake i like to bake but i'm not baking my own cake this year um but you know i always like I ain't never bake his cake. I ain't bake his cake. I just, you know, we have it together. We sing happy birthday together. And that was forever. And now it's just different. Like, oh my God, the change is just crazy. Yo. So many changes and I don't do well with change, you know? I don't, I don't like the way I feel. I don't like the way none of this stuff makes me feel. And even if my son, don't come back home or he wants to live on his own at least i would like to have been closer to him so i could do something at my house for him like i always do he's going out to eat with his friends later and stuff and i gave him some money in his birthday card so you know like i know i did something but i just wish i could be there you know i'm not like in another state i'm in another town but i got little babies so you know for us to celebrate in the house all together and then I just go, you know, feed the babies and put them in the bathtub and get them ready for bed. Like, you know, it didn't make things so hard for me. Now that I'm so far away, everything is so hard for me. And Lord, I, I don't know, y'all. Y'all could judge me if y'all want to at this point. We not, I'm not perfect, okay? I'm kicking myself in the ass. I don't know how long I'm gonna be kicking myself in the ass for what I did. And I, listen, just stay tuned for Friday nights. Um, I'm going to be doing, I don't know if it's going to be Friday nights with Mocha or Mocha Mondays, but that's where we talk and, you know, you drink your wine, you drink your coffee, you drink your water, you drink your juice or whatever you want to do. Um, they're going to be pre-recorded, but I'm going to just be talking to y'all about stuff so I don't do this in my vlogs. Like, I want my vlogs to just be my vlogs and I want my sit-downs to just be my sit-downs. So we're going to make it, the sit-downs fun. So where I could talk to y'all, y'all could just like get to know me just a little bit more. Um, because it's a lot of stuff that I want to, you know, talk about. And I don't get to because I, this would be a three hour vlog, you know, and I can't do that. So I'm recording my first one this Friday. Um, and if that becomes a big thing, if that gets a lot of interaction, I'll start going live, you know, so y'all can catch me live. If that's what y'all want let me know i'm not going to just go live and have like three people on my live you know so if y'all want me to eventually those conversations are you know y'all want to interact with me when i'm talking about certain things then we can turn it into a live but let me get home and start cooking and deal with taylor i don't know if i'm gonna pick up while i'm home i might not pick up until after i get the kids but if I can pick up, I will pick up. Um, I got like an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes to, not even, cause I gotta get home first. So I might have like an hour to do all of that stuff that I need to do. And when Lily get home and Milani get home, I'm gonna go down in the basement and I'm gonna seal my washer up again, hook it up a washer and dryer in that house is so like, crazy like it should just be a normal hookup but it's so old in here that you got to go through hell just to to hook your stuff up so um i'm gonna be doing that so i could just i'm gonna wash a smaller load so i could just see like maybe if i wash and dry smaller loads it'll dry then i'll see if i need to get rid of my washer and dryer um and i'm not even getting rid of it i'll just leave it there when i leave you know 
it'll come with the apartment. I'm pretty sure they ain't gonna take it out. They might not take it out. But <sighs> here you go. I'll see you on the next book. All right, guys, I just got back home. I'm trying to hurry up and do this haul because Taylor is getting in my way and you being annoying, y'all. Being annoying. All right, I got a box of chips for the girls because they keep plucking my nerves for snacks. I ain't go grocery shopping yet, so I don't know. Okay, this is what we're going to do. I got some onion rings for Taylor because she's going to have chicken nuggets and onion rings tonight. I got some turkey sausages just to have in the house. Um, I got some more yogurts because they love those yogurts. I got some traditional sauce because I have some in the refrigerator already, but, you know, just, we need the extra sauce. I got two packs of thin spaghetti because I plan on having leftovers. And I got two packs of Italian meatballs, the spicy Sicilian. Mm, these are going to be good with some Texas garlic toast. I'm about to throw these in the crock pot anyway, too, right now. And that's all from Stop and Shop. From Dollar Tree, I got these three little fuzzies. To go in their little Valentine's Day um, bag. I'm about to put that away with the Valentine's Day stuff. You know Valentine's Day is coming. So I got to grab everything I can little by little, y'all. Um, I got these for me. I got some scrubbies because I think I took my other ones to the new apartment. And I got this little bathroom cleaner bottle because I like to mix my own cleaning stuff together. And I thought this was nice. Um, I'll save it for when I move. I have a whole bunch of these, y'all already know, but they're in a box right now and I cannot find what box they're in, so I had to buy one. Lily needs some gel, so I just grabbed this gel real quick until I could get to the hair store, because I'm not going to the hair store today. Um, I grabbed this hand sanitizer from my car because I need more. We have no hand sanitizer in the car. I got some foil, some more styrofoam bowls, and some more styrofoam plates, some plastic cups, more plastic cups. And a roll of paper towels, y'all. Y'all know my shit is packed up. So, yeah. All right, y'all. It's 1.37 and Taylor is driving me nuts. I'm about to heat up my Jamaican food. And I'm about to put my, um, my meatballs in this crock pot. Okay? And season them up and cover them. And let them cook like that. Because I really can't be standing over the stove right now. The good thing about a crock pot is that, you know... It cooks for you, okay? So I'm about to put that on and then I'm about to go deal with Taylor. And I'm about to let my phone charge a little bit. I'll pick back up with you guys later. All right, y'all, I seasoned my meatballs with um, seasoned salt, garlic salt, and black pepper, and I'm gonna put a little bit of minced garlic in. This is how they looking right now, okay? I'm gonna sprinkle some minced garlic in and then I'm gonna cover it and let it cook. And I will be back to check on them when I get the girls from school. All right, y'all, so this is how the meatballs will look. Coming back. I'm picking the girls up. Oh, I added onions and peppers and stuff in here. So I'm gonna keep that juice in there and I'm about to pour the um, spaghetti sauce on it. Yes, ma'am. All right, y'all, this is the spaghetti and meatballs. I appreciate it. You appreciate it? Come here, pass it to me. I put the garlic bread, I look all tired, y'all. Ooh, child. I put the garlic bread, give it to me. I put the garlic bread in the oven and the um, pasta noodles are done. So I'm just waiting for the garlic bread and I'll show you guys what. Dinners are the sweetest dinners ever. They make me laugh, they make me joke, they make me cry. <laughs> okay. Um, as I was saying, um, I'm waiting for the garlic bread. And I'm about to go upstairs and pick out their pajamas and clothes for tomorrow. I'm not doing anything tomorrow during the day, like the early day, um, because in the evening, my nephew has a basketball game. It's his last game of the season. So, you know, I told him I'll be there. So I'm going to be there. OK, that's step one to becoming a great aunt. All right. Trying to be a better auntie. So I will be at his game. I will be vlogging and you guys will see. You guys will meet my nephew and maybe my niece and their mom. They want to be on the vlog. But <sighs> make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on your bell so you know every time I post a video. I am exhausted. I'm washing clothes right post now. Post the video. I love you Bye. Bye. I'm exhausted right now. I'm just trying to cook. And it's like six something. It's not even late. But I do have to get their pajamas out. I got mad clothes. Hello, mommy. Jim. It's my 
my journal too. <laughs> I got mad clothes to fold. Yeah, I just let everything like kind of pile up. And um, I'm washing. I wash like smaller loads to see if my um, washing machine is, my, not my washing machine. I hook my washing machine back up the right way. And um, you know what? Let's go check on that dryer before I end this vlog. I'm checking to see if my dryer is getting hot. It's not really connected good. So I feel like sometimes because of the connection, that air, the heat goes out. So it's not drying the clothes like how it's supposed to be. Let me see. We are 20 minutes in. It's warm. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's hot. So down here, this doesn't connect good. You see how it's coming off? It's not even up good. So I think that's what happens. The cold air just, you know, if it's not closed in good, I just put some more tape on it so it should be good. So yeah, I'm washing clothes and hopefully I'm not too exhausted to fold when I'm done dealing with them. But if I am too exhausted to fold, tomorrow morning after I drop the girls off from school, I'm coming back home, not doing anything. I'm laying pajamas out. I'm doing everything early because my nephew's game starts at 4.30. And we'll be home like maybe five, six o'clock. So I want to do everything I can do before I leave the house tomorrow. But yeah, y'all, your girl is tired. She need her hair done. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. I don't know whether to take this stuff out the box. I know some of, some stuff I do have to take out the box. Like, um, you know, my cooking utensils. I got to take that out. My dishes, I got to take that out because I need that. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up, so I am going to set the table, do my little thing with my girls. You know that's my holiday. I can't be skipping out on Valentine's Day. Oh uh, yeah, and that'll probably be the last holiday we celebrate in this house, if, if, okay. But I'm hot and I'm exhausted. I'm tired. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on. Did I say subscribe or ascribe? I I just can't. I gotta run this back. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Buh. Turn on your bell so you know every time I post a video. And until the next one, guys.